Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week we're looking at MK's new Logic Plus range with a Type A and Type C USB connector. Now the USB Type C is nothing new. They've been around for a few years now and certainly the Type A. They've been around 20, 25 years or something like that. We've been seeing them. It's certainly something harking back to the 1990s. Yet we still struggle every time with the Type A USB. We struggle, we put it in the wrong way first every time. I know I do anyway. With the Type-C, you don't have that problem. We've got a couple of these MK Logic Plus Type-C and Type-A 30 watt USB sockets. We'll throw them on here. And keen-eyed viewers will see that there's actually already one in situ here, already one in place, I think. We just moved that one around. It wasn't bought new or anything. It's just, uh, it's been allocated a position there because that's where things get charged and stuff. But you can also see it's just a Type-A. So we'll switch that one around here and we'll also throw one just over there and near the kettle. If you've purchased a phone in recent years, you'll notice there is a lack of charger in there. And I'm talking about the three pin uh, transformer that plugs into a socket and you then put your cable into that and stuff. Well, they're getting rid of that, getting doing away with that, trying to save the world and everything else, save the, save the planet. What we're doing is we're just, they're coming with just a cable. And these kind of sockets help with that because if you've just got, you've got your brand new shiny device, you've got your cable, it's USB, USB either end into there, you've already got your super fast charging all there you've got your your 30 watts charging which most smart devices are going to require if not now then they're going to require in the future and i'm not too sure if you'd walk into a property and expect to find every single socket be type a or type c usb or anything like that but i would expect you to see at least one in each room maybe a couple in the kitchen and stuff because it just makes for easy charging it gets away with that it does away with that, that big charging block kind of thing and like i said before it doesn't even come with a new device anyway Right, we've got the tools up here now, so I will go and kill the power uh, to the circuit, prove dead, make sure everything's uh, nice and safe to work on. Uh, switch these out, unscrew this one, swap them around, put one over there, and we'll even give them a bit of a test. Now, it's always good to practice safe isolation wherever possible, which is every single time. The circuit is dead, locked off under the stairs, and the socket tester has stopped singing. To test that that circuit is really dead, what we need is a approved voltage indicator and a proving unit. Now on this particular socket, the terminals are right at the top, making easy access for the probes. First thing we want to do, get the probes on the Q-Prove, push that down there. It will go through the entire range of voltages that it's available. I'll just reset that again, but you see, and it should stop at a little blipping tone there. That means it's finished. And then what we'll do, we know that these are working perfectly fine. Give it a quick test on there. So we've got line and CPC. We've got line and neutral. It's giving a tone, but there's no voltage there. And if we go neutral and CPC, no tone, no voltage, no nothing. Come back onto the QTEC QProve 3. Reprove the voltage indicator. Show that everything's working hunky dory. There we go. Now we know that socket, that circuit is safe to work on. All right, I've got this off now and uh, looking on the back, it does actually say for IT equipment use only. So they probably don't want you to, uh, on this older one, they don't want you to start plugging kettles and microwaves and air fryers nowadays and stuff like that into it. Certainly no mention on the back of the MK socket for only being used for IT equipment. It isn't that chunky to be honest and they are saying they'll fit inside a 25mm bat box. Yes that's a plastiboard bat box or fast fix box whatever you want to call them. I've always called these plastiboard boxes. This is a stud wall or it's been dubbed out as a stud so we've, we've gone and uh, used a plastiboard bat box there but I know that there are some galvanized metal bat boxes just down there so we'll We'll see if it does fit inside a 25mm bat box, but just, just by looking, just by using these before, I think we'll just about get away with the 25mm bat box there. Well, I've not fixed it back yet, but I just thought I'd show you the back of it. So we've got we've got a uh, two CPC connections left and right there. You've got your line conductors coming in there for your terminal, and your neutral over here. Pretty much a standard layout on the back of most sockets or ev every socket apart from the uh, lever connection, which MK also do. Um, yeah, we'll throw throw it back in. There's no flying lead with this one. 
because it's obviously a plastic bat box. It's not going to be required, but apart from the cables being a bit stiff, yeah, it does just fit nice and perfectly inside there. With the power back on and the socket screwed back, you can see with this uh, little ET920, the Klein Tools USB tester, you can see this working all right. So we've got 8.98 volts, 1.59 amps. There's some other readings there you can see as well. It says Type-C USB, which is what we're plugged into. At the moment, that's charging a phone and we can also flick that out. Just pull that off a second. Uh, disconnect that one, plug the Type-A in. And we'll put a okay, type A USB. See, we're putting it in the wrong way again. After all these years, and we'll, what we'll do is you can see it's measuring already there. It's trying to measure something. There's nothing happening, so we'll plug that into this little uni light here and see what happens. Uh, so it's uh, gone to 4.89 volts and 0 0.73 amps, and it is, actually says that it's Type A USB as well. So. There are some other readings and bits and pieces on there as well, but the main thing is uh, that the USB is actually working and you can see flashing down there that it's actually charging as well. And before we fit the second socket, I thought I'd just bring it in a little closer. We've got the USB PD30 watts on the Type-C connector there, Type-C port, and that's 5 to 20 volts. And it's on the Type-A, we've also got 5 to 12 volts, uh, 3 amps max. I have a quick flip round, you can see here, so it's saying... USB 30 watts max, and there's the various port combinations you've got there, different voltages and amps and stuff. And that's certainly what we're going to need with uh, most of our modern devices. We've removed this socket here. As you can see, like I said, it's a metal galvanized uh, metal bat box, 25 mil. Um, and uh, yeah, there's extra cable there for the fly lead and stuff. And the cables actually, they come up here. So it's, it looks quite a lot going on. They come up here uh, from the feed and then they go that way feeding the, the the rest of the sockets and stuff but just looking at the back of this um the back of the new mk socket that's going on you can see that the terminal is actually uh, the, well where the cables go in and join up and everything the connections the terminal screws uh, actually come pre-wound back you can see if you can just see inside there and the, the screws are just there there's four in total two cpcs two earth connections are aligned in neutral so they come pre-wound back nice little thing there to save Every second of time is uh, saved is, is uh, makes a difference. So what I'll do, I might have to tidy these up a little bit. So I think what I'll do, I'll just speed this bit up. Now I do like a nice tight fit and that's what we've got here. It does fit perfectly inside this 25mm galvanised bat box. So I'm safe, uh, happy knowing that it will fit in the rest of these as well. I know a lot of people nowadays are using the 35mm bat boxes at first fix. But in this situation, we went for 25 Just give it a bit of quick turn on there, make sure everything's working. Rockers are working, no problem, that's alright. Little test, these are just functional tests that you would do. Uh, changing accessories out. Obviously, we've got a USB and stuff here. You can see the ET920 is lit up on the Type A USB there. We'll also, what we'll do, we'll give it a little bit of a, a ZS test on the. Um, there we go. Get the old QTEC going there. Like I said, it's always nice to do a ZS test when you've been changing accessories and stuff like that, just to kind of, I don't know, it covers you a little bit. You make sure that all your connections there and you've got a nice low reading of 0 0.58 so what do i think about them now that they're in and on well very nice uh white goes well i have always preferred white over other bits and pieces and colors it's just the q-tech powering down um brass stainless steel chrome uh, sometimes it's a bit personal to things to, to to people or to areas to rooms white goes everywhere so i've got no problem with that it's pleasing to the eye as well uh, I'm glad that they fit inside a 25mm bat box. Uh, the Type-C is a, a connection that is not going anywhere. In fact, you're going to see a lot more of it soon. I think in 2024, they're implementing something where pretty much all devices are going to be Type-C. 
So you're going to need some form of charging station, charging area of type C in and around your property, unless you hang on to the, the, the three pin kind of pluggy efforts, the, the type A to C USB things. They will wear out, they will die, that is old technology. This is new technology, it's here to stay. Uh, I have no problem with these white ones. I would like to see some uh, different grades, different colours, different types, textures, stuff like that. Maybe I could use it in a more bespoke kitchen if you want to stay on the steel, chrome, brass, whatever else like that. All right, so I'll leave uh, some information in the description of this video just down here so you can check out where price, uh, availability, any other information about these that you want to find out. I'll put all that down in the description. The future is type C USB and these are here to help with that. Thank you so much for watching guys, bye now.